anything is possible in the world of complex numbers. So let's see how we solve this uh, equation. Basically, if we were dealing with real numbers, then 1 to the any real number power is always 1, which is why it's not possible to get 3. But if we are dealing with complex numbers, yeah, there are some ways we can find the solution. So uh, for solving this, we basically need to know that 1 is actually e to the power 2 pi i. Now, like why does this formula work? Uh, yeah, for that, you need to know the Euler's formula e to the power i theta equals to cos theta plus i sine theta. And if you want a neater proof of this, like I will uh, put a tab over here, like linking a uh, video from 3b1b. Uh, which gives an like uh, immensely beautiful proof using dynamics yeah now if we know this proof what does this proof say is uh, basically okay so this can also be written as cos theta comma sine theta yeah basically uh, because we have in the in the real axis we will have just cos theta and in the imaginary axis we will have sine theta so basically cos theta comma i sine theta will be here yeah and this implies uh, that this length is cos theta this length over here is sine theta and which is why uh, this point okay is represented this is represented as cos theta plus i sine theta it's called this point and so we can also write this point as cos theta comma sine theta which is why i did that now cos theta is sin theta is just the coordinate like for angle theta yeah we also know that now in the length will be one so to find the length uh, what you can just do is uh, find the length of this line itself and the length of the line will be x square plus y square yeah basically Pythagoras theorem so cos square theta plus sin square theta and that's one root of one is one now when theta is, uh, let's say, pi by 2, e to the power i pi by 2 will be um, the point, yeah, when, uh, let's let's make this angle as pi by 2. And then in this angle, let's find a point which is at the distance of 1. So, and this is known as i, yeah. So, e to the power i pi by 2 is i. Now, let's say if we have theta as pi, now we need to make the angle as pi yeah, and in this uh, angle from the origin let's find a point which is just length one unit so this is minus one so the value will be minus one now if it was e to the power i times three pi by two the point will be over here and at the length of one we will just have minus i this is minus i now if it is it was e to the power i times two pi the point will be over here and that's 1 because of angle 2 pi should be there that is 1 so in this way you can like understand why e to the power i to pi is 1 now if we have this uh, statement it will not be that hard to solve the problem now e to the power 2 pi i is equals to uh, to the power z is equals to 3 now you can multiply the indices e to the power 2 pi i z equals to 3 and then 2 pi i z equals to we can take log on both sides ln 3 now z will be ln 3 by 2 pi i yeah this is the answer now let's try to check the answer if it satisfies the equation or not now if we try to check the answer, if it satisfies the equation or not, 1 to the power z equals to 3. Yeah. Now uh, z is 1 to the power ln 3 by 2 pi i is equals to 3. Now we need to find out uh, 1 to the power this thing. Now again for this we again need the complex definition of 1. So basically, it's just like a kind of circular thing, yeah. Now, i is just e to the power 2 pi i, so these two cancel out actually, yeah. 
this doesn't actually like make us seem the beauty yeah, because it's just kind of circular ideas and into the power and three is just three so that's uh, true that works yeah and hope you enjoyed this video like hope you got the idea how to find it to the power i and some standard values yeah you can just trace the angle and then like see what's there in a unit length distance and also you got to find that like there can be solution to such equations in the complex world hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you in the upcoming videos too